Hey guys, so I'm gonna get on give my desk a good clean. But uh, before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, Bluetooth receiver for my Z5500. So for me, I personally think, if you're gonna have this sound system in 2021, you definitely need to have Bluetooth on it. That's what comes with it. So we've got a power adapter. Bluetooth adapter. And RCA lead. Has a setup guide in there, but we'll look at that later. All right now. So much plastic. Right. So right in there, right in there. Power in there. So this thing has a pass through as well. So I could actually just put an aux cable straight into this, but that's not what I wanna do. I will be looking at sticking this to the back of this unit. Make it nice and clean, nice short cable here. Stick that to the back, and it's out of sight, out of mind. So I've just plugged it in. Doesn't look like it lights up at all. Oh, yes it does. Right there. In fact, it's flashing. So, we'll come back to this. I'll uh, neaten this all up, and then I'll jump on my um, Jump on my GoPro and we'll do some footage of this playing. It should work flawlessly, I think. So, uh, we'll see. Oh, beautiful one. Yeah, this should work flawlessly, we'll see. Right, so, um, we've got quite a few cables up here. But no matter. I just want to see if this thing's working. That's the main thing. Right, so we need to go on our Bluetooth devices. See if we can see anything. So, it's seeing my gimbal, which I'm not looking forward to. Not showing up, scan. Logitech Bluetooth adapter. Connect. And we're connected. So now, we have music. So yeah, there you go. That's bringing Bluetooth to your Logitech sound system. Definitely, I think, in my opinion, an essential for 2021, if you're still running the Z5500. So, I guess a recommendation from me. It's only small, and as I said, it's gonna be stuck to the back of my uh, troll pod, probably down the bottom where they can be, there's no vents. One of the other upgrades that I've done as well recently was change the controller. 
I don't know if many of you have had this problem, but the problem I've had, my old controller is in pieces. Now, don't get me wrong, it's sort of kind of working. It does work when the circuit board's in there, hold on. Now, it does sort of work, but when it's in pieces like this and it's constantly falling apart, I've glued it. As you can see, I've got residue of glue on the controller. Yeah, it's done. It, it's seen its day. So, I've opted to go grab one of these things off eBay, Chinese remote, and that works flawlessly. I don't really have any problems with it. It's just kind of unsightly compared to the original one, because the original one was a lot more nicer looking when it's in one piece. But yeah, all the functions work, so I mean, you can't really complain too much. I think I paid like six quid for that remote. And instead of using uh, AAAs, which this one does, uh, this one uses double A's, which is a bit more, I guess, convenient, but annoying at the same time. I'd much rather it stuck to triple A's because I've got loads of those, but double A's I'm a bit scarce on. But here's what it is. Um, yeah, I would just say, if you've got one of these systems still, you're still kicking it and it's still just about surviving it, get yourself a new remote, Bluetooth um, receiver, and you're good to go.